Hey guys, Lindsay with The Scrap Room here. Today I've got a quick tutorial to show you how you can make your own return address labels using the free version of Canva. You'll be able to print these out onto sticker paper right at home and cut them out. Um, if you've got a PNG friendly print and cut machine like a Cricut, you can also use that to cut them out. I offer a ready to go address label template in my shop if you want something that's already ready to go, but this tutorial is going to show you how to design them from scratch. Start out by opening a new custom size workspace that is US letter size, so eight and a half inches by 11 inches. This way you'll be able to print them by the page in bulk easily. I'm designing return address labels to go on letters. So I'm creating labels that are about one inch by two and five eighths inch, but you could use the same exact process to make labels of any size. Pop over to the left-hand menu bar and go to um, Elements, and then click on Shapes, and then add a square to your project. From there, you can click on it and drag it to where you want it on the page, like in the upper left-hand-ish corner, um, and then click on one of the dots on the corners, and you can resize it. When you're resizing it, you'll notice that the little measurement options will come up on there, making it really easy to change it to an exact dimension, like. Um, one inch by 2.6 inches. When you're done resizing your box, click on it to select it and then go up to color and you can change the color of the rectangle to anything you like. You can even make it a solid color or a gradient. I'm going to make this set white, so I'll need to add a stroke border around them to show where to cut them out at. Uh, when you click the stroke option to add a stroke, it's going to default to a chunky four point stroke line. Um, and that's kind of more than we need. So I'm going to bring it down to a one point line just to soften it up a little bit. Once you've got your basic shape, click on text in the left hand menu. And that's going to um, let you add different text fields. I like to do the name as one field and then the address part as a separate field. Railway size 12 font fits these labels well, but I'm going to make two separate font fields here so that it makes it really easy to just click on the name and make it bold so that it really pops off the label. To quickly duplicate a field, click and hold your mouse button on the original and press and hold the Alt key and then drag your mouse. Then you can go back and click on the first text field and make it bold and add any different changes that you want to the wording. Now this is just a basic label with everything centered and no images or anything on there, um, but we can spice this up a little bit and make it left aligned and drag the text over to the left side. Reselect the box. If you want to change the color of your um, label, you can click on the little color icon up top and then go over and play with the different options that they have on there. Um, I'm going to keep this white though and add a picture instead. Um, so to add a picture, go over to the elements icon on the left hand menu bar and go down to frames and add a single square frame design and then resize it to fit your label. You'll see the smart guides pop up to help you kind of like center it in the space that you're working with. And then go over to your uploads and you can upload a design. I've already uploaded the design that I want to use for these tags. So you just click it from your library once you've uploaded it and drag it right into that frame and it'll resize it for you. Now, as you can see, we've got one little label on a huge page. So click and select everything all at once. And we're going to do that duplication again, where you um, click and hold the mouse button and then hold alt and drag your mouse. Then just hold Control or Command and hit D and it'll duplicate it, the same action for you, so they'll be spaced evenly. Now you'll notice that these aren't centered, so we're just going to select everything all at once, click on Group or Control G to group them, and then right click on the grouping of them. And then in the menu that pops up, you can go to Align and then Center it. And then we're going to use that same duplication trick, the select it all, click on the selection, and then hold Alt and drag your mouse. And then once you've dropped it, you can hit Control or Command D to duplicate it all the way down your page. And that's it. 
This project is so quick and easy. When you're done designing your labels, go to share in the upper right hand corner and click on download. Select the PNG format and then click the download button one more time to save them to your computer. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're ready for another easy Canva project, be sure to check out these easy to make DIY bookmarks in the video linked on screen. Thanks again for watching.